December 28, 2014 from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. It was the New Orleans Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this NFC South Division rivalry matchup on the final week of the season. The Buccaneers would get the ball first. They'd start with it on their own 20 after the opening kickoff. They were able to bring the ball to midfield and into New Orleans territory, but after eight plays, they would end up punting from the New Orleans 41. So now the Saints would take over on their own seven-yard line after the punt with a little over 11 minutes still left in the first quarter. They would end up going three and out and punting from their own eight-yard line on their first possession. So now the Bucks would get the ball back on their own 45 after the punt from New Orleans. There was a little less than 10 and a half minutes still left in the first. Then on third and seven from the Tampa Bay 48, Josh McCown hit Mike Evans for an 18-yard reception. They would make it a first down in New Orleans territory at the 34. There's actually a holding penalty against the Saints that was declined on the play. Then on second and two from the 26, McCown hit Myers for a five-yard reception of first down to 21. But they weren't able to get another first down after that as McCown actually got sacked a couple plays later by Walker and Jordan, Cameron Jordan. That was on second and 10 from the 21. And two plays after that, out would come Patrick Murphy, Purry, to attempt a 39 yard field goal. It was up, it was good. And the Bucks put the first points on the scoreboard with the score now Tampa Bay 3, New Orleans 0. So now the Saints would take over on their own 15 after the kickoff with about six minutes left in the first. But at their six plays, they would end up punting from their own 45. So now the Bucks would take over after the punt with about three minutes left in the first quarter. They had it on their own 20. And on third and three from the 27, McCown scrambled for the first down with a four-yard run that brought the ball to the 31. Then on second and one from the 40, Sims got stuffed for no gain, and that was the final play of the first quarter. So after one quarter of play, the score was Tampa Bay 3, New Orleans 0. So now to begin the second quarter, the Bucks had the ball on the Tampa Bay 41. It was third and one, and Doug Martin ran two yards to the first down to the 42. Then on second and four from the 48, they gave it back to the muscle hamster, Doug Martin, and he ran it 45 yards all the way to the seven-yard line for the first down that would make it first and goal. Sims then lost three yards, but then... A four-yard pass from McCown to Myers brought up third and six, third and goal from the six. McCown dropped back out of the shotgun. And he hit Mike Evans for the six-yard touchdown, and it was now Tampa Bay 10, New Orleans 0. So now the Saints will get the ball after the kickoff on their own 20 with about 11 and a half minutes left before halftime. They're faced with the second and five from the 25. Drew Brees then hit Kenny Stills for a seven-yard reception, the first down to 32. Breeze then went to Meacham for a 16-yard reception, a first down to 46. Then on third and five from the Tampa 47, Drew Breeze hit Colston for a 15-yard reception. and was now a first down on the 32. Then on third and three from the 25, Drew Breeze went to Kenny Stills. He picked up 10 on a first down to 15 in the red zone. Then on second and four from the nine, Robinson, Kyrie Robinson ran eight yards for the first down that would make it first and goal on the one. They gave it back to Robinson. He punched it in from a yard out to put the Saints' first points on the scoreboard as they now trail by three with the score Tampa Bay 10, New Orleans 7. So now the Bucks would take over on their own 26 after the kickoff with about five and a half left in the second quarter. They then faced the second and three from the 33. Sims picked up nine in the first down at the 42. Then on third and six from the 46, McCown hit Myers for a nine-yard reception, a first down to 45. Sims then ran 20 yards for a first down. And there was a defensive holding penalty as well. And so now it would be a first down on the edge of the red zone for the Bucks at the New Orleans 20. They're then faced with a third and eight from the 18. McCown went to Mike Evans, and the rookie picked up 10 yards in the first down. They made it first and goal on the eight. They then gave it to Sims, and he punched it in from eight yards out for the touchdown to extend the Bucks' lead to 10 with the score Tampa Bay 17, New Orleans 7. So now to the kickoff, the Saints with the ball on their own 20 with less than two minutes left in the second quarter. Then on third and two from the 28, Drew Brees dropped back out of the shotgun. He was intercepted by Johnson. It was tipped at the line by Clint McDonald. And so now the Bucks would take over on the New Orleans 34 after the interception. They would end up getting a first down, but that would they got a couple of first downs. They got all the way to the eight-yard line. 
they weren't able to get it into the end zone and out would come Patrick Murray to attempt a 27 yard field goal it was up it was good and it was now Tampa Bay 20 New Orleans 7 the Saints would get the ball after the kickoff and Drew Brees would take a knee and this game went to halftime so after two quarters of play the score was Tampa Bay 20 New Orleans 7 so now to begin the second half the Saints would get the ball first they had it on their own 20 after a touchback on the kickoff. Then a second and sent from the 20. Mark Ingram ran 12 yards for the first down to the 32. Then on third and two from the 40, Drew Brees hit Kenny Stills for a five-yard reception of first down to 45. Then on third and five from the 50, Drew Brees hit the tight end Ben Watson for a six-yard reception of first down in Tampa Bay territory at the 44. Then on 2nd 11 from the 45, Drew Brees went back to Ben Watson. He picked up 12 yards on the first down at the 33. Then on 3rd and 8 from the 31, Drew Brees dropped back to pass. He was intercepted by McDougald. And so now the Buccaneers would take over on their own 20 after the interception with about 9 minutes left in the 3rd. They would go 3 and out and they ended up punting from their own 13. So now with six and a half minutes left in the third. After the punt, the Saints would take over on their own 45. They were faced with a third and 15 from the 40. Drew Brees then hit Stills for a 44-yard pass. They would make it a first down in the red zone at the Tampa Bay 16. Then on third and 10 from the 16, Drew Brees dropped back and he was intercepted by Tandy. They actually challenged the play. But it was an interception, and now the Buccaneers would have the ball on their own three-yard line, backed up against their own end zone, and they would end up punting it after going three and out from the six. So now New Orleans would get the ball back with about a minute and a half left in the third. They had it on their own 46. And on first down, Mark Ingram ran for 18 yards in the first down that brought the ball to the Tampa Bay 36. Drew Brees then hit Stills for a 16-yard reception. It was now first down on the 20. Then on 2nd and 8 from the 18, Drew Brees dropped back and he had Kyrie Robinson. And Robinson took it 17 yards for the first down to make it first and goal on the 1 as the third quarter came to a close. So after three quarters of play, the score was Tampa Bay 20, New Orleans 7. It's not open up the fourth quarter. It was first and goal on the 1 for New Orleans. They had stopped for no gain on first down. Then a pass interference call against the defense would make it first and goal on the one as they would go half the distance to the goal. So it was about the half yard line. They gave it to Mark Ingram and he punched it in for the touchdown. And it was now a six point game with the score Tampa Bay 20, New Orleans 14. So now the Bucks would take over on their own 32 with about 14 minutes left in the fourth after the kickoff. And after five plays, they would end up punting from the New Orleans 49. So now after the punt, the Saints would take over on their own 13 with about 10 minutes left in the fourth. But they would end up punting after four plays from their own 30. So now the Buccaneers would get the ball on their own 30 after the punt with less than nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. And on third and five from the 35, Josh McCown ended up dropping back. He hit King for a six-yard reception. It was now first down on the 41. Then on third and five from the Tampa Bay 46, Josh McCown dropped back to pass. He was intercepted by Lewis. And so now the Saints would take over at the 50-yard line after the interception with about five and a half minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. They would be faced with a fourth and two from the 42. They elected to go for it, and Drew Brees hit the tight end. Jimmy Graham, he picked up four yards in the first down at the 38. Then on third and eight from the 36, Drew Brees dropped back to pass and hit Marquise Colson for the 36-yard touchdown pass. And the Saints now are in the lead by one with the score. New Orleans 21, Tampa Bay 20. So now the Bucks would get the ball with less than two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. They had it on their own 17 after the kickoff. And on first down, they ended up getting a holding penalty. So now it would be first and 18 from the nine. And then they picked up three yards. And on second and 15 from the 12, Josh McCown was sacked for a six-yard loss by Cameron Jordan. So now it was third and 21 from the Tampa Bay six-yard line, down by a point. And what they ended up doing, that no huddle in the shotgun. Josh McCown drops back to pass, and he was sacked by Junior Gallette for the safety in the end zone. And that actually put the Saints up by three points. They're now by a field goal. And so now they would actually get the ball because of the safety kick. And so now New Orleans would take over on the Tampa Bay 26 after they tried to onside kick the safety kick. 
but it was actually a penalty against Tampa Bay. And so New Orleans was right there, and all they had to do was they ran the ball once, and then Drew Brees took a knee, and the game came to a close as the Saints come from behind in dramatic fashion to win this game by three points. The final score, New Orleans 23, Tampa Bay 20. And with the win, the Saints are now 7-9 on the season. They're 4-4 four and four on the road. They actually have a better road record this year than at home. And the Buccaneers are now 2-14 and 14 on the season. They are 0-8. They are winless in Tampa Bay. And in this game, Drew Brees was 24 for 38 with 281 passing yards, one touchdown, three interceptions. Josh McCown was 14 for 23 with 115 yards passing, one touchdown and one interception. He also had six yards off of two carries. The leading rusher in this game was the muscle hamster, Doug Martin. He had 19 carries for 108 yards. And Sims had 18 carries for 69 yards, including a touchdown. The leading rusher for New Orleans was Mark Ingram. He had 14 carries for 57 yards, including a touchdown. He also had four yards off of two receptions as well. And the leading receiver was Kenny Stills. He had five receptions for 82 yards. Jimmy Graham had six receptions for 54 yards. And Marquise Colson had two receptions for 51 yards, including a touchdown. And the leading receiver for Tampa Bay was Mike Evans. He had five receptions for 54 yards and a touchdown. And on defense, the game's leading tackler was a two-way tie between two Saints. As Jamarca Sanford and Curtis Lofton each had 10 tackles in this game. And the Saints combined for three sacks as Jordan Cam or Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan had one and a half sacks. Junior Glett had a sack and Walker had a half sack. And for Tampa Bay, their leading tackler was Levante David. He had five tackles. They combined for two sacks as McDonald and Spence each had a sack. And New Orleans had one interception. Lewis had their one interception. And the Bucks had three picks. Tandy, McDougald, and Johnson each had picks. But it wouldn't be enough to beat the Saints as New Orleans ends up scoring 16 unanswered points in the fourth quarter to erase a 13-point deficit. This they end up winning this game by three with the final score. New Orleans 23, Tampa Bay 20.